Stress, for one, is a major one, actually. Because what stress does is it throws off that nervous system, that balance between allowing the arterial inflow or stimulating the arterial inflow. So when you're stressed out, you're not, be, you're not allowing that nervous system to stimulate good arterial inflow into the penis. Secondly, depression. Not just depression, but some of the medications associated with depression that you use to treat depression. Those are the types of things that, that could also cause erectile dysfunction. However, like I said before, there are plenty of good treatment options that could address not just the cause, but also the symptoms associated with erectile dysfunction, which will require some form of physician consultation. Anxiety is also another reason why you would have some form of erectile dysfunction. Not just anxiety associated with your day-to-day -day life, but anxiety associated with sexual relations with your partner. Whenever you're anxious, whenever you have issues, uh, feeling that there's a certain level of pressure to satisfy not just yourself, but your partner, this could lead to stress and throws off that nervous system and could really decrease your erectile function and the satisfaction associated with intercourse.